What is up everybody? Welcome to an episode of Jesse Spec YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Toyota Chaser. As you've probably realized in the title, I effed up really bad and I broke my car. So without further ado, let's just get... <sighs> <laughs> What happened was, is my car, um, I was doing at a drift circuit and it was basically a circuit, it was a large oval and we'd have to drift around a few cones that were here. So I'm going to use this as an example. What happened is, so it, it wasn't a GT86, it was a chaser, of course. So we would drift around here, come over here. And what happened is, I didn't know, but when flicking it back over here, there was actually a slippery surface since it was a driving school kind of area and um, it was very easy to happen so you would drift out here and then with the inertia when coming back out i didn't realize it wasn't explained to us that we were not supposed to go onto the, sk uh, the skid pad and i had no idea it was so what happened is i arrived here and you can imagine this was so slippery that to the point where you even uh, just uh, my car uh, when idling in first gear was still already doing a burnout if you understand what i'm saying so it was extremely slippery and so you can imagine that when i came here drifting out like this and flicking it in the other side to do a manji guess what happened the rear wheels landed on here and so what happened was slipped out and of course <laughs> I don't know why, but there was a 150 kilo heavy cone cart that was at the exit of the of the, the, the skid pan. Don't ask me why it was there. Honestly, pretty pissed off about that. But anyway, so what happened was I slid. Oops. Then I arrived here, span out, and then I landed with the rear into the cone cart. And here is the damage. Hello, so we arrived at my friend's paint shop today. His name is Greg. I'll show you him on the video later. So as you've seen, I've broken my chaser. You can come closer a little bit. So what happened is I bumped into a, it was a basket full of cones at the circuit, at the drift circuit. So you can see here, it basically broke this part and it broke the bumper as well. This will also have some repairing to do. The crash is pretty violent. But where I'm happy, you can step back a little bit, is, is you see on the rear, the rear fenders on the side here, there isn't really a deformation. So that's a good sign because if this would have been all folded together, it would have been much worse. So it should be fixable. You can see on this side, it's the same. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty bad, the, the damage, but I'm pretty sure Greg can fix it. This is his body shop, by the way. This is Greg. Say hi, Greg. <laughs> and this is his car a honda legend pretty cool he really basically greg he only works on really special cars so i'm really happy that he's gonna help me fix my car so anyway thanks <sighs> now that you've seen the damage to be honest it happened like in the first 20 minutes of the track day so i was really feeling bummed i still feel bummed about the whole thing but in the end drifting things happen it never goes as planned so not only drifting actually also motorsports in general so i thought anyway let's stay positive in spite of breaking my <laughs> car i anyway thought okay let's just continue I, since there's still three and a half hours of track day left i thought might as well spend some good time and uh, yeah i we decided to continue driving for maybe three hours with the broken rear end of the car but in any case i will show you a bit of footage to see what what was done and it was really fun and very useful also for training purposes and in the end it's all about seat time as well make sure to get as much as seat time possible so that's what i did in spite of having my car destroyed and probably the bystanders were all shocked that I was continuing to drive, but in any case, that's the best thing I did, and I didn't hit it again. I learned my lesson there, so anyway, enjoy the footage.
second gear one more time.
in spite of everything that happened, I think it's really, I mean, you could probably tell I'm pissed off of what happened and also a little bit, uh, how do you say, sort of heartbroken, I guess. But in any case, I mean, it's just part of the game, you know, and it will happen one day or another. I've already broken another car in the past as well, maybe a few times even. But yeah, <laughs> it's always a difficult one. So have you guys ever experienced something like that? Tell me in the comments. Have you, how did you cope with it? How did you manage to make the best out of the situation? In any case, in my uh, situation, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I, as you saw, I brought it to my friend Greg and I'm gonna get it fixed. I have a few things like front windshield, you realize also I got a rock that landed into it a few days back. So I'm gonna get that fixed as well. There's. Yeah, it's a good time to take the license plates off of the car and get it fixed and we'll play with it next year again. So this is also going to be sort of a pause from Project uh, Executive Drift Car because there's a lot of repairs going on. I will share some updates here and there about it, but I'll be focusing a little bit more on the MR2 project over the, the, the end of the season here. So I appreciate you watching this. This is a difficult episode for me to film but anyway i hope there was some interesting footage for you and some interesting points to it so thanks for watching and stay safe peace thank you so much for watching the episode until the end i really appreciate that if you like what you saw do not forget to subscribe like this you can see all our episodes we post if you have any comments or questions make sure to shoot us a comment below until then see you next week, week.